New York City, or also called the Big Apple, is a city that provides an endless amount of activities to do and places to view. The city of skyscrapers has appeared in a number of films and literature, which has elevated it to the status of a popular tourist attraction. New York has risen to become the world's most significant economic and cultural powerhouse in recent years, largely as a result of its own quality. The environment and way of life in the city are distinct, and they are difficult to describe in a guidebook, they are best found by visiting and experiencing the city in person. Tip 1. Statue of Liberty. Over 130 years old, UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most famous ladies in the world. The Statue of Liberty, also known as Mother of Freedom or Miss Liberty, is one of the landmarks of New York and definitely one of the most famous sites of the United States with enormous recognition value. Every year, about 4 million tourists come to see the world-famous, neoclassical colossal statue on Liberty Island in the harbor of New York City. Liberty enlightening the world, as the Statue of Liberty is officially called, is a symbol of freedom, justice, independence and democracy commemorating the alliance of the French and the Americans during the American Revolution. It was once a gift from the French people to the United States, although this came 10 years too late due to funding problems. This is because Miss Liberty should actually have been inaugurated on the 100th anniversary of American independence, in 1876. Tip 2, Empire State Building. For a long time it was the tallest building in New York and for a few years even the tallest building on earth, the Empire State Building in New York City. On a clear day, it offers a view of almost 130 kilometers and five states. Its popularity is due in no small part to its great resonance in the media and its diverse portrayal in films. Every year, around 4 million people visit the 443-meter skyscraper in the Manhattan District. Among the five tallest buildings in New York City, the Empire State Building is by far the oldest. After 410 days of construction, the skyscraper was completed in a world record speed. Despite the Great Depression, nearly 3,000 employees were engaged for the construction in 1930 to 1931, with each story and a half of the structure being completed in a week and a half. Tip 3. Central Park. Central Park in New York is a huge park in the middle of Manhattan. It stretches from 59th to 110th Street, and from 5th Avenue to 8th Avenue, and was artificially created with a few exceptions of untouched nature. Every year the park is visited by up to 42 million people, making it the vibrant heart of the city. Central Park is a recreational area with sports facilities and natural landscape, in which there are several attractions. Originally it was created to promote the health of the population of New York and to improve social life in the metropolis. It is and has been the setting for numerous famous movie scenes, so just about everyone will have seen the famous park at some point, even if they haven't been there themselves. Today, New York's Green Lung, which takes up more than 4% of the borough of Manhattan, is far more than just a recreation area for nature lovers and leisure sports enthusiasts. It is a mecca for those interested in culture and architecture, offers daily smaller and larger often free events and even a true place of pilgrimage for fans of music icon John Lennon. So if you want to visit Central Park in New York City, you should definitely plan a few hours or even better a whole day. Tip 4, Metropolitan Museum of Art. 
Informally known as the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as the Met, is the biggest and most extensive art museum in New York City as well as one of the most important in the world. The museum was founded in 1870 and officially opened its doors two years later. The Met really has a lot to offer, so much that you should make a list of exactly what you want to see of it before you visit. The museum is so big that aimless wandering around doesn't really make sense. You enter the museum through the already impressive central hall of the museum, the Great Hall. We recommend everyone, even art buffs like me, to visit the Egyptian Art Department, the Egyptian Art Section, in Gallery 100-138. You can even admire an Egyptian temple here. The Charles Engelhard Court in the American Wing with its glass ceiling and fountain is also worth a visit. A very special experience is the section of Dutch painters of the Golden Age with artists such as Rembrandt, Franz Hals and Vermeer. As said before the Metropolitan Museum of Art is a huge museum. Do not try to see everything, otherwise you will spend several days in the museum. We recommend that you choose a number of specific works of art and visit them leisurely. It is best to come early in the morning. The Met receives more than 6 million visitors every year, so it's always crowded. In the morning, right after opening, it is still relatively quiet. Tip 5. Times Square. Times Square is currently widely regarded as the geographic center of New York. With its massive, lit advertising hoardings, it has evolved into a symbol of this thriving city, and has even been the subject of several films. Times Square, with its neon lights and billboards, is one of New York's most renowned landmark and the liveliest region in the city. It is situated at the junction of Broadway and 7th Avenue. At Times Square, you'll discover a variety of clubs, restaurants, theaters, museums, and a fantastic ambience. When the sun goes down, the lights of Times Square brighten the city, and both residents and visitors are mesmerized by the city's renowned square at night. A visit to Times Square is an absolute must-do for every traveler to New York. Thank you very much for watching my video about New York. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.